So, in circuit analysis one of the most important thing is cell, cell or the battery which gives energy to the electrons due to which they flow through the circuit. So, we need to understand what cell is, what is its EMF and what is the meaning of potential difference across the cell. And of course, after studying this we will going to combine cells in series and parallel and <coughs> we will derive the expression of potential differences across them. So, my dear student as I told you the cell is the source of energy, the cell does work it transfer electrical energy to the charge and that work is called as its EMF, yes EMF electromotive force although we call it as force, but is it is actually energy per unit charge. This is the amount of work done by cell on the charge passing through it. Then what the potential difference is? When it does the work it also takes out some energies because the electrons move as electrolytes between the electrodes of the battery. So, due to which due to some collisions they lose out energy while they move within the cell. So, when the electrons or the uh, ions move within the cell although they get chemical energy in the form of electrical energy, but still they also lose some form of energy due to collision as a heat. So, the net work done when it comes out of the positive terminal when the electrons comes out of the positive terminal then the net energy transferred is the energy given by chemical reaction of the cell minus the energy lost due to the collision or heat generated and that is that net work done per unit charge is called as potential difference. So, mathematically EMF is E and potential difference is E minus I R. So, I think this makes sense to you potential difference is the net work done that is the net uh, energy transferred by the battery minus the energy which was uh, dissipated due to its internal resistance E minus I R and EMF is the only the amount of chemical energy transferred that is E. So, <coughs> cells basically cells or batteries does work on the charges passing through them. using chemical energy. So, this work per unit charge is defined as E m f E of the cell. <coughs> Generally when you write this is the representation of battery. So, we write EMF like this. So, whenever a charge passes through it, whenever charge moves, suppose these are the charges which are at low energy, when they pass through it, when they come out of the positive terminal, they become big because they are now more energetic. So, you can, you can visualize this minus and plus are only the relative terms, it means the charges on this terminal would be at high voltage as compared to the charges on the lower terminal and that high energy is nothing but the work done by the battery. So, potential difference potential difference across the cell across the cell that is V it is the it is the net work done per unit charge unit charge that is work done minus heat lost internally due to internal resistance due to internal resistance of cell 
and complete thing divided by charge. So, this is the net work done per unit charge, okay, very simple expression. So, mathematically we can also rewrite it as potential difference will be equal to V will be equal to net work done per unit charge that is EMF minus this I times R, this R is the internal resistance and I is the current flowing through the battery. This is the internal resistance of the cell, internal resistance of the cell and this is the EMF of the cell and this is the current flowing through it, current, electric current. flowing in it, simple. Okay. So, V is equal to E minus I R. The circuit diagram looks like suppose there is a cell and there is internal resistance, this is E M F E, this is internal resistance R and you have connected it to the external resistance capital R. You have connected it to the external resistance capital R. So, basically my dear students as soon as you close the switch the current will start flowing in it. So, once the electron enter this battery they will get energized and they will transfer this energy to the resistance R and that is how the current is established in the circuit. <coughs> so, if you can see if I want to write the potential difference across the battery, the what is the effective voltage with this which this resistance is getting, what is the effective voltage which this resistance is getting, it is not EMF, not all the energy is uh, basically received by resistance R, but rather it is getting lesser energy, this V will be equal to I times R from Ohm's law and this V is also equal to E minus I times R. So, this is called as potential difference across the cell potential difference across the cell. <coughs> of course, you can also write the current, how will I write the current? So, to determine the current basically we can club this internal resistance with this external resistance as they are in series and just take complete voltage as E. So, for determination of current what you can visualize it as there is there is one, one battery ideal battery this is ideal battery of EMF E and it is connected to <coughs> two resistances of values small r and capital R. So, the value of current you will getting will be the same as in as it was in the first case. So, basically the current I can be directly written as total ideal battery E upon small r plus r. So, this is how you can directly this is a way to visualize the current in the circuit that the ideal battery ideal means no internal resistance EMFE upon total resistance you can add a small r to that. So, very important my dear student this is the first relation and this is the second relation of current for the cells very very important. So, so now let us draw some uh, important graphs regarding potential that if in a circuit suppose if there is a battery EM of E and it has internal resistance let us say small r EMF E internal resistance small r and it is connected to some external resistances which is variable, which is variable this is a variable resistance. Suppose if you have connected it with the resistance variable resistance like this. Okay. So, if you vary if you increase this r if you increase this r from 0 to infinite, we would like to know how does the potential difference across this varies. So, this is the potential difference. So, we know if r is varied, if r is varied from 0 to infinity, we would like to know how does the potential difference varies. So, basically there are two important graphs my dear student just remember them as it is they would be very very helpful to you. One graph is potential difference versus current 
and one graph is potential difference versus r remember this e this v is potential difference it is not emf emf is a constant always emf does not change with i or v emf is the internal inherent chemical property of the cell e does not change only v changes v why v changes because v is e minus i r so v will depend on i and that i will depend on the external resistance capital r so very standard uh, result <coughs> when you are determining v is equal to i so the formula you use v is equal to e minus i r so basically my dear student it is y equal to mx plus c y is equal to the slope will be r minus r and constant is e so its graph looks like this so you can clearly see when the value of current is zero by when i put i equal to zero when i put i equal to zero the voltage across this becomes e and similarly when the potential becomes zero the current will become e by small r very important and the slope of this thing v versus i graph v versus i graph will be equal to minus i <coughs> very standard result similarly when you solve it for uh, v versus capital r because variable is r you can write v is equal to <coughs> i times capital r you know v equal to ir v is also e minus ir and v is also i times capital r this i can be rewritten as total emf times capital r upon r plus r okay you can take out r common and it becomes e upon r by capital r plus 1 so basically if i draw the graph of this one when the capital r is zero the voltage is also zero you can see the voltage is also zero so it will start from zero and as soon as the r tends to infinity the voltage will become equal to e and its graph looks like this so as r tends to infinity as r tends to infinity the voltage tends to become emf so remember very standard result v versus i and v versus r standard diagram